What's up guys, I'm your host Albert Vartanian and this is Parlay Today. The international break is here and we already missed the Premier League. So what better time than now to recap the weekend that was in the Prem. Here's Sarah Peraria with a review of what went down and a big money parlay. Liverpool versus Manchester City more than lived up to its hype on Sunday as Pep Guardiola's strikeless team twice came from behind in a thrilling encounter at Anfield. Mo Salah was at his quick-footed best to set up Sadio Mane for the opener and then scored a goal of the season contender after Phil Foden's well-taken equalizer. But the game's main talking point was the ref's inexplicable decision not to book ex-City player James Milner for a second clear professional on Bernardo Silva. Silva had been running the Liverpool backline ragged all afternoon and another break saw him literally clotheslined by Milner, with the City player launched into the air and landing awkwardly on his head. Pep Guardiola was livid on the touchline at what should have been a second yellow card and what would have put a whole new slant on the game. In the end, Kevin De Bruyne scored late to make it a draw in a game that showcased the title-winning credentials of both sides. Down south, it was a return to winning ways for Tottenham Hotspur, who hung on to ground out a much-needed win against Aston Villa and stemmed the tide of a run of awful results. Villa striker Ollie Watkins scored his first Premier League goal of the season after earning a recall to the England squad last week, but it wasn't enough against the Spurs team that rose to the occasion in front of their home fans. Harry Kane didn't make it onto the score sheet, but the England striker looked happier and more settled in a more advanced role. And even further south, High Flying Brighton dominated a one-sided game against Arsenal, but somehow couldn't score despite having a host of clear chances, including a glaring open goal miss from inform captain Lewis Dunk. The draw was enough to put Brighton in sixth place, however, and level on points with Manchester United and Manchester City. Not a bad side that finished just above the drop zone last season. With the international break now upon us, our three-team money line parlay for this week features three games from the World Cup qualifiers. Take Scott McTominay's Scotland to beat Israel at minus 106. Take Gareth Bale's Wales to beat Czech Republic at plus 425 and take Erling Haaland's Norway to beat Turkey at plus 250 for a plus 3,483 parlay. Postseason baseball has to be up there in terms of the best playoffs in sports. Since adding the wild card game in 2012, it's just gotten better and nothing beats a one-off loser goes home matchup. Think of the moments it's provided us with. Salvador Perez's game winning single against the A's, Edwin's walk off homer and extras to beat the Orioles. This game almost always delivers. And tonight, the Dodgers and Cardinals could add to that wonderful history of this game. Here's to Sala to here with a preview of the National League wildcard. You're probably wondering when the last time a 106 win team was in the wildcard. They haven't been. The only team that's come close to that win total are the 2018 New York Yankees, who had 100. Even though we know about LA's firepower, it's still a one-game winner-take-all, which means anything is possible, especially when you're playing the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis is stocked full of solid offensive players. No absolute superstars, but some very good players up and down the lineup. Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado, and Canadian stud Tyler O'Neill all exceeded the 30 home run plateau. Adam Wainwright sports a sparkling 17-7 record with a 3.05 ERA. There isn't anyone they'd rather see on the bump for the game. However, Max Scherzer is probably the last guy they want on the Dodgers mound, and that's who they'll be up against. Scherzer is 7-0 with a 1.98 ERA since joining the Dodgers from Washington. So here are my picks. Take Los Angeles for the win at minus 230. And take Max Scherzer for over 7.5 strikeouts at minus 110. Well, it's a two-game week for Ottawa and Toronto. That's right. Both these teams have games five days apart tonight and on Thanksgiving Monday. So these boys deserve an extra serving of turkey. But first, they have each other to face on Wednesday. And a quick look at the CFL East Division standings would tell you this should be an easy win for the Argos, but not so fast. Ottawa earned their second win of the season over Edmonton last week, and what was different? The quarterback. Rookie Caleb Evans got his first career CFL start, and in a year of below average quarterbacking for Ottawa, Evans seemed like a diamond in the rough right off the bat. He threw for two TDs in the first quarter, carrying Ottawa to the win, but Toronto isn't tied for first for nothing. Quarterbacks Nick Arbuckle and McLeod Bethel Thompson have been a solid one-two punch, paying dividends offensively for Toronto, but their defensive line is banged up. Defensive end Charleston Hughes is questionable tonight. And the Red Blacks do have some momentum built under their radar, 
with a new quarterback. As a result, now is the best time to bet on the heavy dog. Take the Red Blacks at plus 310 on the money line. Well, that's it for the parlay today. I'm your host, Albert Vartanian, and don't forget to follow us on social at the parlay on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and head over to parlay.com and sign up to our newsletter.